position for Lee. Third and final round. There's somebody over there that I'm kind of excited about if uh, that ever pans out. Gabby Garcia. Yeah. So, um, again, my husband fought like back in the day when there was no weight classes. He was fighting guys that were 100 pounds heavier than them. And that, um, when we were kind of talking about it, I'm like, that would be amazing. Like, to test myself and fight someone that's uh, 100 pounds heavier than me and get in there and do that. That would be definitely, that's one of my goals going forward. Like EBJJF is the is the governing body. Yeah. yeah, many things like wrong inside behind the scenes. You know what issues are there in the sport? We have like doping tests. Right. We choose people like who is like the guys tested. Always. Well, there's nothing random about the randoms. Like always, yeah. Gabby. You know, this year we tried like the the ladder for compete like with injury. Like uh -huh. if you use like one medicine the website not have like jujitsu there and if you use one letter like judo letter re the wrestling why don't have jujitsu there if you fight jujitsu you know in the mm. list for the sports they just offered me uh the cron gracie fight and they said that would be the main event this and that and i said uh, i said yeah i'd be i'd be interested in that and then um you know i know he trains with nick and nate diaz uh, i didn't know how involved he is with them We've got a good relationship with those guys. Uh, maybe that's why the, the fight didn't happen. Maybe it's uh, he just didn't feel like he wanted to do it in Sacramento at that time. Truthfully, I'm in the gym daily, living this life, and started taking super matches against jiu-jitsu fe phenoms all across the globe in my time off. And uh, just felt like, you know what? I still have that itch. I, I still have the desire, and I definitely still have the, the talent to get in there and and make waves and, 